This is David Kammer. He has a friend who can read ancient Hebrew and is working on a new translation of the Bible. David is an astrologer. And that it says, the epiphania, i.e. blazing forth, of his glory is the great foundation stone upon which God's government in the earth, i.e. kingdom of God, will be established. The world. And, um, and I think it's just very appropriate to talk about that right now because we are, I think, I think we are on the verge of, if we're not already in it, the Epiphania. Now, the Epiphania isn't the Epiphany. The Epiphania is when people across the world recognise the importance of the Son of God. 23rd of March 2023 is the day when this cycle, this challenging cycle of Pluto and Capricorn, Uranus and Aries comes to an end. And as I've explained in my book, God Makes His Move, which of course you can download for free from my website, because it's important for everybody to read that. That's why it's free and freely available. It's also useful on a PDF, isn't it, when you want to do, it's like an index, when you want to search for words. But anyway, it's all explained in there. And that date marks what I think is the beginning of the 490-year Aeon, because... There is another event, exactly 490 years to the day, so you get this bookmarked 490 years, which astrologically has all the colouring, if you like, all the flavour, all the qualities of the kingdom of God, which is God's sovereign rulership through Christ from the heavens over the nations here. So the 23rd of March... 2023 is an extremely important day astrologically. 190 years after the 23rd of March 2023, the ast astrological uh, implications there, as I've explained in the book, seem very much to point towards thereabouts the return of Christ.